Hey guys, I was asked to do the popularity of the, uh, the, the video on the five different ways of doing the active target, controlling the active target, uh, to just show a simple one on how to use a simple switch, which is way number three. So it's, it's a yellow wire. I'm going to use a switch. One of these switches here. These are some of the various switches. Uh, and show you how you're going to use it to control your active target module. Actually, in reality, it's, it's to control any of the Lowrance modules. This happens to be an older structure scan HD module. It uses the exact same power cord as an active target module, active target two module. So we're just going to use that as an example because unfortunately, I don't have a spare active target module laying around. My spare is out in uh, Buffalo right now. So let's get started. First thing I did is I stripped the uh, power cord back. Okay. And let me move this out of the other camera way. We're not going to need the module for a bit, so let's let's just do it. So first thing you want to do is get the wires ready. Okay, we're not going to use a blue wire on this example uh, unless you have a, a pro unit, that, in which case you'll use that for the sink. But for for this example, we're just going to use these three wires. Okay, it's the red, yellow, and black. So that's what we're going to use here. We're going to use I'm going to use this toggle switch. Okay, this is a simple toggle switch. This is pretty much the same type of toggle switch I used on my boat years and years and years ago to control my structure scan HD module to let me turn it on and off when I didn't need to use it. So basically, there's connectors on the bottom. This is the common, and so this is the one that we're going to connect to. This is the uh, so when you flip the switch in the on position, you can see the the on off position. The circuit is closed between these two connectors and this connector as well. Supposedly this is a lighted uh, switch. So the, that's one thing. The, a lighted switch would be handy to let you know whether or not it's on or off. Okay, so this is one example. This is another example, but this is one that's okay. Uh, it's got the same type of connectors on the back. It's a little light on there. I'm not sure if it's waterproof or not. I actually use this on creating another uh, control module uh, for something or a test block. This is the exact same switch module that I used on that Camus example of controlling it. So on the back side, there are spare wires. You can see the, these are the two wires you connect to, ground and positive, and then each one of these leads, you, these bare leads is where you connect into your active target yellow wire. So you, the nice thing about this switch is that it also has a USB port, a voltmeter on it. You can control two modules with it. Uh, the, the disadvantage is you gotta cut that opening. Uh, I use a, uh, a zip tool. So, so what we're going to use in this example, we're just going to simply use this toggle switch. Oh, I got one more switch, and this is one I just bought recently, actually for this. Uh, this is another lighted switch. So since this is essentially a single switch version of that, that comes with a mounting bracket, uh, so you can screw it in those certain places. Again, a ground wire would connect it to it, let you light up this little LED on there. So. But again, this example, we're going to use the toggle switch. So first thing, to do, let's get ready. Uh, what I need to do is look at the connectors I've got and the circuit I've got to do. So, so what I want to do is I want to fuse the red wire. Okay, so the red, red wire gets fused. That gets connected to this fuse block. Again, this is a situation where it's probably as simple as you can get. So we're going to connect those two together. We're going to put the proper size fuse in the fuse holder here. So that would be this. In this case, it's a five amp. It's pretty much five amps for all the modules, including the network box, the S3100, the active target, active target two modules. Okay. So that's, that's what we're gonna connect that to. We're also gonna need to connect the yellow wire to one side of the switch, and then the other side of the switch, we're gonna take another short yellow wire, use one about 12 inches long. Basically, you wanna have enough wire there. So it's not gonna, you know, bind or stress or be tight. So, so we'll connect one of those to the switch and one directly to the same connection we're gonna use to the fuse block. That way we got the yellow wire fuse and the red wires fuse. So let me go ahead and, and make our connections. Now, because I'm connecting this yellow wire, this red wire, and this red wire together, Sometimes you'll take a barrel connector like this and you'll twist the two that you're con you know, connecting together on one side. That sort of works, not really the best thing, but it, in a pinch it'll work. 
However, what I found is that I found this type of crimp connector on, on uh, Amazon. It's a three-way connect three connector. The only disadvantage is it's bare, bare, bare inside. So you gotta make sure that this is insulated, otherwise it might short to something, okay? You can actually, if you use that uh, starboard material I use, you could screw something over top of that and put a big washer on it and it'll be covered up. So these, this is the connector, uh, the crimp connector. This is, uh, we're using a 1416 gauge. Okay, that's the gauge size for the power wires. Okay, the yellow wire is 18 gauge. So it will fit into that connector if you are careful about the spacing. So, so let me go ahead, I'll crimp them up and I'll show you what, what it looks like. Okay. All right, here's the, uh, here are the power wires and the yellow wire all connected together, okay? This is an interesting piece here. It'll actually move a little bit on you. You can rotate that. Uh, another option that I have used, but it's, the problem is it's not going to be waterproof, are these type of connectors here. Uh, these will actually work pretty good for most situations. And the way you would do it is you take, and the way they, these things work is you flip them over, crimp one end on this wire here, and then you take the other, this connector here, it slides right into that piece right there. Okay, And now you've got a sort of, it's covered up, it's, but it's not waterproof, it's not heat shrink. Uh, it'll work in a pinch, and I'm gonna put use slide-on connectors for this switch because that's what it requires. If you have another type of switch like these other ones here, you can just crimp, use barrel connectors and crimp directly to them. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and connect to these two. So let me get these two crimped and I'll, I'll show you the switch switching arrangement. These connectors are 18, 1822 gauge size. So that's the correct size for the yellow wire here. I'm like I said, I use uh, the right size wire. These two wires are ready to go and get connected to the switch. So I'm gonna connect the main wire, okay? To the common which is the one in the middle here okay. because I know that connects directly to power and usually you have the switch ones on the outs outside of this connector so there's our piece there I, I had an issue with the wire falling out and I'm not using my best connectors for this example normally I would use the ANCOR connectors like I've shown you in lots of uh, other videos before uh, but in this one what I'm simply doing is I'm just using these uh, the, the inexpensive ones from Amazon, uh, just, to, just to show, because for production, I would actually figure out, I mean, I'm not production for a, a real installation. I'd make sure I figured out what the right lot wire lengths are and not have too much hanging around the boat. So, so at this point, we've got our initial circuit done, okay? We've got power going to the switch, going to the yellow wire, and that's the important part on controlling the, the module itself. This is the red wire to power up the module, and this is the, the ground wire. So now what I've got to figure out is where are these things going to plug to? In this situation, what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be plugging in my test bench here, and it might be a little hard to see this, but I use a small power strip to connect stuff to. So I'm just going to simply use these ring connectors, like you've seen me use on the standard fuse blocks. The nice thing about that uh, is that you can use it on test bench, at least the, my configuration here, and then you can take them out and put them in your fuse block on the boat. But if you use a fuse block, you wouldn't need this connection right here. But since this is the simple way to do it, let's do that. Now in your boat, you may have a patch panel, in which case you would use this style in your patch panel. I'm honestly not a fan of those. I've seen them fail too many times, corrode fairly easily. But if that's what you have in the boat, you can use that. Sometimes in boats, you'll also have an empty barrel connector like this that you can connect to. So I'm also not tie wrapping, or, or sorry, heat shrinking stuff. So uh, let's go ahead, I'll go ahead and make these crimps for these uh, power connections to my terminal strip here. And then uh, we'll go from there. Make sure you use, reuse the right size. These power leads are 16 gauge. Like I say, the power leads are 16, the yellow wire is for uh, 18 gauge. 18 gauge is red or pink, and the 14 gauge is blue. So that's how you know. The uh, connectors and crimps and everything are re is ready to go. Uh, I left the blue wire out. Do not do that. Don't leave wires hanging like that. If you're not gonna use the, 
the blue wire, don't cut it off because in the future you may switch over from an Active Target 1 to an Active Target 2 module and you'll need that blue wire if you have pro units, okay? So just take and actually before you did all this, heat shrink this back on the wire. That way you have it available, you can cut the heat shrink off and you'll still have that wire available. So, but for, again, for this, you know, demo, uh, we're not going to do that. So here's our connection. So now I hook these two wires up to my pop terminal strip and then I'll plug the fuse in and we'll, we'll show you how it works. So we're now connected into our terminal, terminal block here. Um, now I'm going to put my fuse in. Pretty much double check all your connections. Make sure you didn't create a short. I mean, we've got power, red, red, red and yellow, going to the red, going to the fuse block, going to the, my terminal block. I've got ground going straight to there. Again, blue wire's just hanging around for now. Don't leave it in, in, in your boat like that. Okay. We got the switch connected. So now we're ready to connect this up after I put the fuse in the fuse block. Last thing you want to do is power it up and you think everything's good and you forgot to put the fuse in. So let's put that in. And make sure you close this cover down tight. These, these are waterproof if you put the covers on correctly. Okay. So let's take this module. And I'm going to plug the power cord in. Okay. All right, so that module's ready to go. Switch is ready to go. We have the switch in the, I'm going to put it in the off position first. Okay. Now comes power supply. We have the power supply powered up. So now I'm going to switch the yellow wire. And you'll notice that as soon as I switch that on, I don't know if it's easy to see, so let me switch it back off. So I'm going to put it in the off position. This is the off position, okay? Notice the power light just went off. You'll have the exact same light on the active target, the S3100 box. This will be, this LED will be red until you switch it on. So there's a little parasitic drain on the S3100 box, I've noticed. Light goes off, turn it on, lights went red briefly and then it'll come up green so now you know your switch works this again this setup i could plug a an active target one module active target two module in an s3100 module in and everything works the same uh, even a network hub a net an nep box those are good uh, sonar hubs all that stuff all the lorance modules use this same type of power cord and you can they all have switch control on the yellow wire so so this is this is the way to use a switch in a real simple arrangement to make it simple now the advantage of something like this is if you get the right switch uh, it's e easy for say using a, on a kayak or a small aluminum boat to let you switch this on and off so so I appreciate you guys watching it if you like this video let me know uh, Please give me a, a like on, the, on that, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate a subscription. Uh, and that'll enable me to give you more videos like this and, and it, more in-depth stuff. Again, this was uh, one of the videos that some of my uh, subscribers and viewers had requested, so I, I, there, this, this is it. So again, simple switch, real. And again, this, this I used for probably 10 years on my first boat that I had the modules on. And before I switched over to using the solid state relays and separate batteries and stuff like that. But this works, this arrangement works for a single battery source. So it actually it doesn't matter whether this is going, this power supply here is going to your starting battery, your electronics battery, or whatever, it all works the same. So just make sure the ground and the power wire go to the same battery. All right, thanks for watching.